Guys, I asked you a question a week ago. Talking about Dustin Poirier. Dustin Poirier very clearly handed the opportunity to be influenced to you, the audience. Who do you want me to fight next? All right. And then I said, hey, guys, is Dustin to the level yet where he gets to be on this, this island over with Connor and Masvidal and anybody named Diaz, where he's an absolute star and it doesn't matter what he's doing, it's going to be a mega fight, super fight, sellout, main event, pay-per-view, the whole bit. Is he there yet or does he need specific opponents? I've got the answer. He's there. I did not even realize how big Dustin Poirier is. I'll tell you guys what happened. I was in Houston. Adesanya fights, wildly popular. Tai Tiavasa, possibly the most popular heavyweight of all time, not named Brock Lesnar. Derek Lewis, who's from Houston. There were some big receptions. They even did a cameo through to a couple nerds in the front row that are on like the baseball team or something there. People like nerds in Houston. These guys got a good reception. Nobody even touched is when they threw the camera to Dustin Poirier. Nobody even came close to getting what we call a pop from the crowd. So I went to Instagram. I had to check something out on Dustin. I go to Instagram. Dustin's got three and a half million followers. I did not understand how big Dustin Poirier is. Not to mention he looked great. He had on this. Sh he had on a shirt that if I could pull it off, I would. I go over to badguyinc.com. That's where I get most of what I. He's wearing like this Versace. It was just perfect, right? And it's not something that Dustin would just wear around. He knew he was going to be on camera. He wanted to stand out. There's a bunch of other famous people there. Everything he did was great, and this crowd went insane for him. Now, on the back end of that, some news on Dustin comes out. It gets told to me, Dustin's fighting Nate Diaz. And I remember the person I was talking to, I said, tell me your source. So they type it into the internet, and it pops up, and it was somebody real. It was like USA Today or something or a dot com of this degree. So by the time I get back to my hotel, which is only about two hours later, and I can get on my own internet feed, I don't find it. I don't find it anywhere. So I'm going, okay, if that was reported, it appears it was misreported and somebody has taken it down. But then dialogue does start coming in that, yes, Diaz, I'm talking about Nate, still wants the fight. Dustin, still interested in doing business. Dustin went a step further to say, I'm not really that interested in McGregor. It would look like for right now with the pieces that we have that Dustin Poirier's next fight will be with either Connor or Nate. It's looked that way for a number of weeks, but now Dustin's removed Connor which is just a very smart thing to do. Everyone wants to fight Connor. They all look thirsty. It gives Connor the power. Connor will pretend he wants to fight you till he gets you to say you want to fight him. Then he will dismiss you, tell, it to, tell you to get down and beg him for it. It's just one of those things. Connor keeps roping people into doing it. And Dustin Poirier, for the first time ever, took himself out of it. Dustin has the right, by end of business today, to come right back on board. But for now, this is the current landscape. Diaz, go back to Nate. Talking about, yes, I absolutely want to fight him, and I want to do it right now. If we're going to fight, if that's what's agreed on, get us in there now. Don't agree that we're all going to fight and then kick the can five months. That's Nate's only request. Nate has been pretty damn easy to work with on this, as long as you can work with that. He doesn't want to wait. He wants a quick turnaround. Oh, okay. We all understand what's going on. But that would also move Dustin into the welterweight class. Very relevant piece to this. If Dustin was going to fight Connor, it would have been at 155. Connor's going 55. Connor's still got title aspirations at 55. But also, when Connor dealt with Dustin the last time it was at 55, you know how important it is for Connor if he's doing redos to redo it exactly the same. Nate will not be at 55. Poirier's going to go up. But what does that mean? Is Poirier now just on this very small island that you guys elevated him to? You guys decided you love him so much. Whatever he's doing, whatever crazy shirt he's in, and whatever weight class he goes, you're tuning in. If he does that with Nate at 170, does he stay at 170? And is it still just for these wild and fun fights? Or is he settling into the division? Because nothing for me as a fan is as fun as parody. I've never one time closed my eyes and thought, what would happen if Dustin Poirier fought Kamar Usman? I've never thought it because they're both champions at different weight classes. Now all of a sudden you get them together just by example. But you can play that game all day. You can keep putting 70 pounders in there. What would happen with Gilbert Burns? How, how would Wonder Boy do if he was in there with Dustin Poirier? Is Dustin big enough to do it? It's fun. It's just a really fun thing. So if Dustin's going to go up to 170, let's keep his ass there. Dustin has invited you guys in to his decision-making process. He's even done it on social media. He has said the words, 
at least meaning I'm changing the words, but what he meant was, come on, tell me what you want. Let's do this together. I want to make sure that you guys want it. So why don't you guys pick it? I'll listen to you. I want you guys to pin him down. I want you to pin him down at 170. If he, in fact, is going to fight Nate, it's all based on that. But if he goes up to 170 one time, let's encourage him. Put some size on. Hit the gym a little more. Whatever you need to do so you're comfortable. Let's make one last run, but let's do it with new guys. Let's do it with fresh blood. I felt something when he dismissed Connor. And yes, I want to see Poirier fight Connor. Of course I do. But I like that round robin. And I like the dismissal of Connor. Only because I think that brings us a step closer to making Dustin commit to a new weight class. And how far can he go? That's a big mountain he's climbed it many times, but he will get looked at differently. He will be treated differently. He will be treated better at 170 in terms of opportunity and speed to make it to the highest part of that mountain. Whether he does or not, right? A lot going on there. But he will be treated with more respect and easier path than he will at 55. Believe it or not, but he will. That's just what history says. You change weights, you get a fresh coat of paint. There's nothing quite as effective as a champion changing weight classes to get on the fast track, if that's what he wants to do. But he's brought you guys in on it. He wants to hear from you guys. He's listening. So guys, do this for me. If he goes to 170 for Nate, lock him in. Not a one night only. Not a one time. Not a test or a feel. Get the commitment and let's start finding and fantasizing about the biggest matches we want to see as Dustin Poirier makes his way through the welterweight class.